All right. Well, um, we've got a block drain here in the bathroom. I'll just show you. No water won't go down it. I want to fill it up with you know, a decent amount of water, but not too full. It hasn't been going down. It's been starting to plant like this over the last few days. And um, I brought this little handheld drain cleaner online. I think this thing was only about, probably about $20 or something. So what I'll do is I'll sit you down here. I'll give this a look. Make sure that whenever you're doing this stuff, you um yep got a good view make sure you wear gloves at all times and um when you finish with it have a couple plastic bags that's what I put it in Make sure you've got some disposable gloves because these drains and stuff, they're very germy. So whenever you work around drains and that, you um, always want to make sure you've got gloves on. And also, don't use this thing to stick down your toilet bowl. If you're going to if you're gonna stick a, a cleaner or something like this down your toilet bowl or something to unblock it, you need to get a separate one for that because you don't want to be sticking this down this drain and then sticking this in your kitchen drain and then go and sticking that dirty thing in your toilet and then putting that back in your kitchen drain later on down the track because that's just filthy so what we'll do is I'll you're going to undo the cable pull the cable through so I'll just poke it just like this I'll poke it straight down the middle and I'll just push it through And it can be a bit of stuffing around there to get it past that bend, the U bend, but I've got it past the U bend. So we'll just feed the cable in. And what you do is then you tighten this screw up on the side of it, and then we turn the actual wire just, just like this and what it does is it's twisting it around Down there. And work it backwards and forwards like this as you can probably see by my gloves it's how dirty it is
we hit something then. We hit something to get it undone. And what I was going to say to you, like as I was doing this, is um, now we've got the water down, you want to use hot water. And we want to make sure we we clean all the, the hand basin out. Pretty fast. All right. Then what we do is we'll put the plug in. We'll leave this to fill up. I'll just clamp the end of it down so it won't clean won't come back out. And um, if you ever got a, a, a clogged drain like this, is um. You want to try and use hot water, like fill up your, your hand basin or your kitchen sink or anything like that with hot water because hot water actually heat all the sludge up and stuff in the pipe. If you ram something down there, even a suction cap, you could move it, but with this and hot water, it'll run around the ring of the pipe and because it'll heat it up, the pipe will be hot because it's plastic. The actual coating of the stuff that's, that's causing it to, to clog up and close in is hot water actually shift that easier? Cold water, because it's so cold and cool, it's hard to shift. So, by filling up with hot water, I'll fill it right up this basin now, and when we'll let it down, we'll see if it shoots out real quick. It should go quite fast. It shouldn't be um, stop at all. Precisely, we've shifted the, the blockage. There's nothing worse than just unblocking it and the water suddenly goes and then you you know you go away and you use it later on today, you know, a few hours later. Right, eh? now we'll let it go. Beautiful. Look at that. We got it in one go. Whole lot about that. We'll just try our, I'll just try our cold water one. I'll fill it back up with the cold water, stop a block. After I've done the hot, and I'll just see what it's like with the cold. And um, once you've flushed this out, like once I'll give it, I'll let this fill up. And um, what I'm saying is, where if this pipe comes down outside in the drain, because this runs into your bath drain. Like, you know, your hand basin runs in your bath drain that goes out into, into a drain outside. And you need to find this, the pipe where it runs out into the drain outside because all this stuff that's come out of this hand basin here or out of your kitchen sink is going to be laying in that drain. So what you have to do is take the cover off the drain and hose all the crap out of it because otherwise it'll smell. So, you know, when you're doing it in here, that's what you've got to do outside. You want to do it in where it's come out and hose it all out. You don't get no smelly odour outside or anything. Alright, we'll just try this. Let it fill right up. We'll watch how fast it'll go in. I'll just give that one more. So we put we put one boiling hot water or one basin down there full. I put one cold one following it and I'll put one more cold one after it and we'll just see what it does. Just to make sure that we know the block is gone. What would be um ideal is is like obviously you know, when it lets go, you can poke this wire drain cleaner down there. And, you know, you think it's unblocked. Sometimes you can just shift it a bit to let the water flow through and, and as it unblocked, it can just push the blockage down the pipe a little bit. So that's why I'm following up with it here now for a second time. Oh, this is the, this will be the third, the third basin pour of water I put down there. After this, I'll know it's 100% unblocked if this one flows down there fast. Oh, 
back. Let's wash it and see what it does. Is. Right, well, we'll fix that. That's, that's um, done. And this is the uh, that's the cleaner. What I stuck down, it. it's just got a wire cable in it. Nothing special. You can turn it, I was just using it with my hand. I was just putting um, my hand in the cable of it. It does help though if you've got this hand base and like how it was blocked up, you've seen all that water at the start. It does make a lot of difference if you've got the um, base and three quarters full of water when you try and unblock it because as soon as that blockage moves and it goes down the pipe a bit, all that water's forcing behind it, it will carry it out easier. And um, what I'll do is I'll try and find a link. I'll try and find it where I've got this, this little handheld drain cleaner from. And I'll post it in the description below. So that way, you know, if any of you have trouble out there, you want to attempt to clean your own drains, because plumbers charge for absolute fortune to to um, come and do drains. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And have a great day.